this is the back of the boat basically the trunk the engine compartment all that good stuff uh, underneath the seat in the middle is the release latch to open it you just stick your hand in there lift up and the entire back slides up uh, once it's up there's several things in here uh, on the left you'll see the compartment this is the battery uh, behind it I have a small fuse panel which runs some of the lights, the stereo, stuff like that. Over here on the left you'll see the actual radio. It's mounted in here where it's not so exposed to the water. Uh, also in here I've got some miscellaneous stuff. Some extra two cycle oil. Uh, a spare. This is a spare for the tools to remove the clean out plugs that I showed you in the other video. I have a spare tool in here. I also have a small tool kit that came with the boat. Basically has a couple little tools to remove the spark plugs, a uh, few things that you might need when out in the water. Just a very basic emergency tool kit. This is the flush hose adapter. This is so that if you run the, the boat in uh, salt water or any kind of brackish water you can flush the motors by connecting it to a garden hose. Uh, this would connect back here in the middle. You see these two plugs, the caps unscrew. There's one for each engine. And once you unscrew the cap, you take this hose, push it in, give it half a turn, and it locks in place. And now you can connect the garden hose to here and pump water into the engine to flush it out with fresh water. You would do one engine at a time. You would want to start the engine before turning on the water and turn off the water before turning off the engine. Reason being, if the water is running and the engine is not running, excuse me, if the water is flowing and the engine is not running, then you run the risk of pumping water back through the exhaust into the cylinders. And uh, that wouldn't be a good thing. Uh, in the cover, there's a throwable life vest, one of those safety cushions. There's a net back here that I've installed uh, just to store stuff. Uh, over here on the right are the life vests. There's five of them in here. And back in here, there is a switch. This switch, when you turn it on, will turn on the lights up in this compartment. So if you go out in the boat at night or you want to load something in the boat, there are some lights up here that will illuminate the storage compartment at night. The switch is located right here. And back behind the life vest is the fire extinguisher. Uh, that's the, the regular Yamaha fire extinguisher that comes with the boat. It's tucked away back there. Uh, in this little top storage compartment, this is the stern light. Uh, this is for when you're navigating at night. And it plugs, it has a plug on the bottom that goes into the hole on the back of the boat that I talked about in the other video. There are two metal flag poles in here. I had these set up. Uh, basically they connect on the bimini, the canopy for the boat. There's a little fitting on each side with a little thumb screw. Uh, there's one of those on each side where you can attach the flags. I used to have two pirate flags I'd put on there. Uh, so I'm including the flag poles with the clips. You just gotta buy a couple of flags and put it there. I also have a cheap dive flag that I used to use when I used to go in the water. Unfortunately, this dive flag has seen much better days, so you'll probably want to get a, a new one. This boat has been converted to premix. Uh, what that means is that you have to mix the oil, the two cycle oil, and the gas together. It uses a 50 to 1 mixture ratio. And I have a little bottle in here that I use to mix it. It's very simple. Basically, I just pull up to the gas pump, I fill the tank with gas, and then I take note of how many gallons I've put in the boat, how many gallons of gas. If I've put eight gallons of gas, then I just pick up my little bottle, I find the side for 50 to 1, and it's this scale right here. I go down, it's got the gallons marked, I go down to 8 gallons, I fill the bottle up to that line with oil, and then I take that amount of oil using the little funnel, and I pour it right into the gas tank on the side of the boat. If you were to put 18 gallons of gas, then you'd fill the bottle to 10, you'd pour it in, then fill the bottle to 8, and pour it in for a total of 18. 
uh, makes this mixing very very simple so I'm gonna leave that in there for you uh, back here there's also a cigarette lighter plug I used to use this with the stereo I have a connection here where you can connect an iPod or any kind of mp3 uh, player music player and play it through the radio so I had a little cigarette lighter plug here so that I could run the you know if I wanted to hook up a car charger or whatever I had some power back here I always use, also used to use it with an air pump to fill if I was going to use any inflatable raft or anything like that.